Folks, if you've got a copy of this morning's paper, you've probably read about the daring exploits of this brave young soldier. His name is Danny Weems. Here he is on an island in the South Pacific where single-handed he captured 20 Japs. Imagine that. But he wasn't always this fearless fighting man. No siree. On another island in the Atlantic, six short months ago, bright and early one morning in this old schoolhouse, a group of public-spirited citizens were discussing our hero. Order number 1437. What are all those papers attached to his questionnaire? Oh, they're a list of his ailments. There wasn't room on the regular form. Show this to Campbell. You better have a look at this, Dr. Campbell. Name is uh, Daniel Weems. Oh, yes. I know this man. I suspect every doctor in New York does. He's a confirmed hypochondriac. Give you an idea how bad he is, Maxwell. He got himself a job running an elevator in the Manhattan Medical Clinic just so he could be near doctors and nurses. Oh, then those diseases of his are just imaginary, huh? Why, according to him, he has everything from hoof and mouth disease to the galloping willies. Hey, listen to this. Nervous indigestion, nervous digestion. And look there. High blood pressure and low blood pressure. Flat feet and rising arches. <laughs> and there's one disease there he must have found in the dictionary. Ichthyosis colitis. If there were such a thing, it could only happen to a fish. Well, I hope he enjoys his diseases today. He's due for a shock in the next mail. 1A? 1A. 1A. Going up, please. Oh, hello, Dr. Jones. Step right in. I was hoping to see you. I'd like you to have a look at my liver. It's only three flights. I'll walk up. Oh, but Dr. Jones. Oh, Dr. Wiebemacher. Paint it with iodine. Paint what? Who cares? Good morning. Good morning. You're looking better, Mr. Higginbottom. Feel great. 18 holes of golf and the day is just a pup. Just seeing the doctor for my final checkup. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. <clears throat> Not doing you much good, is he? Oh, yes. I feel much better. You looked better three months ago. Oh, come now. <laughs> What's the matter? Your eyes. They blink. Oh, everybody's eyes blink. Yeah? Everybody's eyes blink once a second. Yours blink twice. Twice? Hmm. Well, is that bad? Oh, no. Oh. Except if it works back. Works back? Well, what'll happen? Oh, if I told you the truth, it would only make you worse. A man in your condition shouldn't get himself upset. Oh, I'm all right. I'm all right. I don't know. In my job, I see people come and go all the time. Oh, we just passed the seventh. Well, what are you stopping for? I just remembered. Only last week, a fellow wanted the 16th floor just like you did. Well, I got him as far as the eighth, and he was gone. Oh, maybe I should have stayed in bed. Of course you should. Let me see your tongue. No, put it back. It's contagious. Now you've exposed me to it. Well, what'll happen to us? Us? Don't say us. I haven't got it yet. Well, what is it? What have I got? Don't hold back on me. Tell me. Tell me. Well, it looks like polynary morphosis. It strikes without warning. You'll be coming to your office one day and then suddenly... Then you'll be all right for a few oh. days. And then... You mean to tell me that I'll be... You, you see, it started already. Your skin is turning green. Your knees are beginning to buckle. Uh, in just a second, you'll be gone. Oh, water, water, please. Give me a glass of water. Water, water. Oh, Dr. Freiheisen. Dr. Freiheisen. Dr. Fry... The man just fainted. Dr. Freiheisen. Dr. Freiheisen. Dr. Dr. Freiheisen. It's... It's Mr. Higginbotham again. What? All I did, Doctor, was... Oh, Doctor. I told you to keep away from my patients. Doctor, why is your hand trembling like that? Because I'm mad, you idiot. That's why. But, Doctor, that wouldn't make it purple. It's not purple. It is One, purple. Two, Except three. for those green and yellow streaks. Where? There. <gasps> Go away from me, you maniac! Get away! Get out! But, Doctor... Shut up! Doctor, you shouldn't yell like that. It's bad for you. I will yell! All right, yell! But remember Dr. Flugel? He used to yell. He came in at 9 one morning, and at 9 5, he was gone. Well, let me tell you something. If you were here at 9 tomorrow morning, at 9 5, you'll be gone! Oh, but, Doctor, you don't... Here, drink this. What is 
this? Water? I heard you calling for it. Water? Just plain ordinary water. Oh, Virginia, you know I never drink anything but Jupiter Springs number three, distill. Well, don't worry about it. See? And don't worry about Fry has and He just likes to make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Come on in my office for a minute. I got something I want to show you. All right. Oh, you mean the liver extract has arrived? Hey, you're going to be all right. You look much better today. I do? Uh-huh. Oh, well, wait till you see me tomorrow. I expect to have a very bad night. Oh, Nick. Virginia, do you really think I'm strong enough to get married? Well, of course. If you married a nurse. Virginia, you're right. I'll do it. Daddy! Come here. Come closer. Look into my eyes. Oh, Danny. Ever since the first day we met, I've been wanting to say this. Yes, Danny. You're the most wonderful girl in the world. Oh, Danny. And I love you. Darling. I want you to be my wife, Mary. Mary? Well, who did you think I was talking to? I was only practicing. Oh, fine. I like the fire and she's cooking with it. I see what you mean. <laughs> well, anyway, how is the proposal, Virginia? You think it'll work? Oh, I don't see how it could miss. I don't know how she could resist you. Well, I, I know I'm not the best looking guy in the world, but... No. No. Mary likes me more than you know. It's a little thing she says and... The little things she doesn't say. Mostly the things she doesn't say. <laughs> yes. Well, thanks, Virginia. I gotta go now, but thanks for letting me use you. Oh, hello, Mary. <laughs> hello, Danny. Any new symptoms today? Oh, Mary. Uh, Mary, you haven't forgotten about tonight. I got a lot of things to tell you, and... Uh, one of them's very important. You haven't forgotten, have you? <laughs> no, of course I remember, Danny. This is the night I promised to go to a movie with you. Yeah, and meet my friend Joe. He's going to take us to dinner. Gee, you look pretty. <laughs> Say, Danny, why don't we ask Virginia to come along? No, we don't want her. Oh, I mean... Uh... Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, excuse me, but I know you've got a date or something. She's got a date or something, haven't you? No, no, I'm perfectly free. That's great. No, we can't, Mary. I mean, that would ruin everything. Joe's going to pay for the dinner, and we just can't take people along. Oh, I don't mind. We can go Dutch or something. <laughs> oh, we'll have a wonderful time, Danny. A double date. We'll sort of pair off. No, uh, that's out of the question. Pair off? That might be fine. Oh, there's the elevator. I'll pick up at six. Bye. Bye. What kind of milk is this? Cow's milk. Cow's milk? I didn't order cow's milk. Haven't you got any goat's milk? No. Nope. Our goat is out. Shooting pool with some friends. Have you got any vitamized milk? My friend, this is the Chalet Saint Moritz. You want the polyclinic hospital? Perhaps. Nope. Now, wait a minute. If you haven't got what he asked for, okay. But we can do without the jokes, understand? Indeed. What seems to be the trouble? I bring milk to this man, and he starts an argument with me. What? Please, I must ask you to be careful how you talk to my waiters. Oh, just a minute. Oh, I, I warn I... you, one more incident like this, and I quit. Ernest, Ernest, you are just tired. You've been working too hard. Go out for a while and have a smoke. Take tomorrow off. I'll think it over. <laughs> Please. Well, how do you like that? Danny, I know a place that specializes in vitamized milk. You do? Uh-huh. It's one of the hot spots in town. Come on, I'll take you there. All right. Oh, uh, I was supposed to sit this dance out with Mary. Oh, no, go ahead, Danny. We'll meet you in front of the theater. Sure. You sure you don't mind? Oh, I can hardly wait. You know, I'm just crazy about vitamized milk. Come on. Oh, we'll see you at the movies, huh? <laughs> There's only one Danny. Yeah, he's quite a guy. Oh, he's pretty stuck on you. You know that, don't you? Yes, and I don't know what to do about it. I, I've tried to tell him, but, oh, he's got the funniest way of twisting your words around. I, I 
can't come right out with it. Besides, Joe, he's oh, he's got so many other troubles. At least he thinks he has that. Well, I, I don't want to hurt him. You're a pretty nice person, Mary. You're okay yourself. Like to dance? Oh, I'd love to, Joe. Step up, there'll be a short wait for all seats. Oh, Keep moving, please. Step up, there'll be a short wait for all seats. Keep moving. Three lodges, please. Two general, please. Step up, there'll be a short wait for all seats, please. Here you are, Mrs. Willoughby. Thank you. I take two every day and three on Sundays. And holiday. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> See, as I was telling you, I only get twenty-two fifty a week, but I figured Mary could work a little while after we're married. Yes. You know, I haven't decided yet about the proposal. I, I don't know whether to blurt it out or kind of lead up to it. What do you think? Well, I don't know. Uh, maybe I can help. Why don't you marry him, Mary? Oh, I'd love to. Except I'm Virginia. Yeah. Oh. Then you must be Joe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm Mary. Oh, I'm, 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 I mean, Dan. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Hello. That's them. The one on the right's Mary. She's pretty, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, uh, Joe and Mary, this is Mrs. Willoughby. She's 46 years old and has seven children. Her husband's a baker, gets $88 a week. Oh, <laughs> how do you do? <laughs> how do you do, you two? <laughs> oh, dear, we've lost our place. Oh, the people. Oh, no, we're the people. Now look what happened. We've lost our place. Why didn't you get here? Well, I'm glad you did get here because now we've got to get out of here. What? What are you talking about? Why? Well, the lobby's full of people and the people are full of germs. But we came to see the picture. I don't see why, Joe. These musical pictures are all alike. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. Supposing we do go in and we do get a seat, and the woman in front does take her hat off and you do get a look up at the screen, what do you see? Panic Depressive Pictures present. Hello, Fresno. Produced by our manic and reacted by depressive. Now you know the name of the picture and you'd like to see it, but no. Screenplay by Gluck, from a stage play by Motts, from a story by Blip, from a chapter by Rung, from a sentence by Dokes, from a comma by Stokes, from an idea by Grokes. Based on a Joe Miller's a jokes. Now you know the name of the picture and who wrote it. And you'd still like to see it. But no. Art direction, Finkel, Puff, and Teary, is Minerva, Buff, Photography, Alonzo, Tech, Recorded, Sound, Needle, Needlebeck, Upholstery, by Zachary, Knickknackery, by Thackery, Terpsichore, by Dickery, and Dickery, by Doc. Now, finally, at last, comes the picture. And what do we see? The same old beautiful chorus girls. The opening scene is a ranch in Fresno, California. So what are they singing? When it's cherry blossom time in Orange, New Jersey, we'll make a beat of our pear. I know we can't elope, so honey, do be mine. And if... Up from the ghost rides a hunk of man. He is a hero, cowboy, Dan, a galloping yodeling buckaroo. His horse, of course, is a baritone, too. I forgot that old wagon wheel inside of me. I've got that old cactus in the hide of me. The girls are delighted to hear this. <laughs> but where is our heroine? As the bell rings for lunch, we find a heroine in the corral eating a heart out. Mary Sue Ann, the tap dancing daughter of an American jumping act who left her on the doorstep of an old English castle where she was found by Sir Basil Metabolism, who said, By Jove, a girl baby, I should raise her as my own daughter, which she did. But she wants to tap dance, the cowboy Dan, who she met on this trip, and who was love at first sight, wants to marry her so she can tap dance, but she knows Sir Basil will never permit this. Never, never, never! That's why she is eating her heart out, because she wants to tap dance. But through her tears, she's singing a happy little song, because she is also a coloratura soprano. <laughs> She is beside herself. Her favorite position. She rushes to her father. Oh, father! You must let me marry Cowboy Dan! He owns the biggest ranch in Texas! Bar none! 
cowboy Dan cannot believe his ears. Or not. Well, that's the password of the FBI. It can't be. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes, yes. It can't be. But it was. He rushes to Mary Sue Ann. Mary Sue Ann, you must help me. Can you tap out a message in code? This is a big chance. Now she can tap dance, which she does. But what has she done? She has betrayed her own father. But he isn't her father. He is Heinrich my Schlup and my God is hidden flame to the gold flame. Hmm? The dangerous German spy. What? Yes. No! Stick up your hands, you dirty rat and cow destroyed night and blood. So, uh, the FBI finally catches the German spy, Dan and Mary, about to blame. You think the picture's about to end? But no. Who ever heard of a musical picture without Carmelita Pepita, the Bolivian bombshell? I wish you could come with me to my little village in Bolivia. So peaceful there are the purple mountains with the lovely mist and the shining stars. And the little people who live so simple and quiet. And every night, all they want to do is... Conga! Hoy es el día de ustedes, marra que hacer conga. Quiere la mora que se de que se ríe que se de mamá y repet conga. A ripet conga, a ripet conga, ella no conga, repet conga. Daddy's doing all right. That must be his third bottle of milk. He's going to drink himself white. He's quite a guy. Yes, he is. He's going to make some woman a wonderful medicine cabinet someday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'd better go in now. It's pretty late. Yeah. Holy smoke, it's after two. I didn't even realize. I had a grand time, Joe. Thanks for letting me tag him up. I had a swell time, too. Enjoyed every minute of it. Good night. Good night. Well, good night, Joe. Good night. Oh, Mary. Yes, Joe? Joe and Mary just met tonight, so they have a lot to talk about. Joe is a great little talker. I can never think of anything to say, can you? See, I was going to ask her to marry me tonight. I only make twenty two fifty a week, but I was going to ask her to marry me anyway. I just didn't get around to it. There were too many people around. We're having a good time, aren't we? See, we're out on a double date. Joe is with Virginia, and I'm with Mary. You want some milk, Virginia? Say, what's the matter with that horse of yours? He keeps breathing in all the time, never breathes out. Well, I'll tell you the truth, Bub, but I don't want it to get around. He ain't really a horse. He's a vacuum cleaner. Uh -huh. Gee, I'm awful glad you like Mary, Joe, and I'm glad she likes you because if the two of you didn't hit it off, maybe I'd feel different about what I'm gonna do. What do you mean, Danny? What are you gonna do? Well, you were with her all evening, didn't she tell you? We were in love. We're gonna get married. Oh, Danny... Maybe you better think it over for a while. Have you asked her? No, not right out. But Mary understands. The only thing keeping us apart right now is my varicose veins. <laughs> I sure know how to pick them, don't I, Joe? Yeah, you sure do. But uh, maybe you better wait, Danny. Things might be different. But I don't want to wait, Joe. You know, a girl like Mary's awfully easy to fall in love with. She might meet somebody else and 
Then where would I be? Yeah. Look, well, let's get some sleep now. We'll talk about it some other time. Oh, there's a letter here for you, Danny. Oh, uh, look at it in the morning. It can't be anything important. Oh. I wish you hadn't told me about that letter. Yeah, I won't be able to sleep under what's in it. Then why don't you get up and open it? Hmm. Might be bad news and then I'd never sleep. Then don't open it. But if I don't open it, I'll be wondering what's in it and I'll be awake all night. All right, all right, I'll open it myself. You keep me awake all night. What's the matter? Yes. Nothing. Then why did you go huh? Oh, uh, just a little something in my throat, I guess. Oh. That letter must be about something, Joe. Nobody sends you a letter with nothing in it. Open it up. What is it? Oh, it's nothing important, Danny. Just an ad or something. It'll keep the morning. Oh, well, if it's only an ad, tear it up and throw it away. Well, I can't do that. You know it's unpatriotic to throw away paper. Then why did you throw away the envelope? Well, the envelope's just a little piece of paper. That's a big piece of paper. Somebody went to a lot of trouble to print it. Well, go to sleep, little love of Mike. Oh, I'm too nervous to sleep now, Joe. You got me all upset. Daniel Weems. Joe. Greeting. It's from the President of the United States. Having submitted yourself to the local board for the purpose of determining your availability for service in the armed forces of the United States, you are hereby notified that you have now been selected for training and service in the Army. Joe. Did you hear that? What? Oh, nothing. I was so nervous, I thought I heard... Joe, I'm drafted. They drafted me. They can't take me, Joe. Of course, I'd like to be in the Army, but they make soldiers hike 30 miles a day. I walk a half a block and I get palpitations, even with my art support. I'd probably slow up the whole company and lose the maneuvers and be dishonorably discharged and come home and wouldn't be able to get a job any place. And all my friends would be laughing at me. Danny, take it easy. Take it easy. Joe, you got to go over to the draft board and explain to them about me. Well, I can't go now. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. It is? Well, you ought to go over and get in line. Oh. Maybe he's not really sick, but he thinks he is, and that amounts to the same thing. Well, the Army may be a tough pill for him to swallow, but I think it'll do the trick, Mr. Nelson. I can't figure it. You take fellas like Danny and me, I've been here dozens of times, and Mr. there's nothing... Nelson, you've been supporting your father in Chicago, isn't that right? Yeah, but he's not so old. He can find some way to get along. Well, this ought to be good news for you, then. You won't have to worry about your father anymore. He's been drafted. What? That's right, son, and so are you. You're in 1A. Huh? 1A? 1A. Well, what do you know? Next case. So, after many months of strenuous training, fresh air, regular hours, and nourishing food, Danny has become a new man. Or has he? Fine. Doctors telling me I'm not sick just because they can't find anything to matter with me. You never look better in your life, Junior. What? The Army agrees with you. 
<laughs> regular hours, exercise. Ah. Last night you ate two steaks. Yeah, that's one of the worst symptoms. Over hunger. <laughs> you better get rid of that traveling drugstore you've got there, too. Before long, we're going to be carrying only what we can carry. Get rid of that? Oh, look at that. See how nervous I am? I spilled it all over Mary's litter. And right on the part where she says I'm the nicest fella in the world. By the way, where is she now, Danny? Still in Colorado? Yeah. Still visiting that aunt of hers. Funny, I never knew she had one there. Please! Nelson! Here! Come here, you guys! I got a little detail for you. Oh, Sergeant, we were just getting ready for weekend leave. Oh, that's tough. A couple of lieutenants just arrived with a few bags, and we're fresh out of red caps. They're waiting for you at the sentry gate. Come on. There goes our leave. You know, if I don't get a rest pretty soon, I'm going to have to have an operation. They can't operate on you, Junior. With all those pills inside of you, you'd roll off the table. <laughs> Sergeant Gelsey reporting with detail as requested. Thank you, Sergeant. Hey, Joe, look it! They've been drafted. Well, how about that? Isn't it wonderful? Don't they look great, Joe? Gee, I don't know whether to salute you or kiss you. You better salute them, soldier. Enlisted men don't talk to officers except in line of duty. And don't forget it. Yes, Sergeant. That's right, Sergeant. How do you do, sir? Uh, man, uh, at your service. That better man? Uh, Sergeant? Get their bags and snap into it. Yes, sir. Take them down to their hotel. Well, double day. You can't even talk to the girls. Why don't you stay in town overnight? I bet you could find a nice room at the YMCA. Great in the uniform. But I always think of you with a blue ribbon in your hair. I'm so glad you didn't grow a mustache like you said you would. You know, I entered your picture in a beauty contest at Cannes. You came in third. Wasn't it awfully hard to get used to living in the same room with 16 fellas? You know, if I had known you were going on the list, I'd never have sent you those silk stock. Oh, don't forget to remind me, I, I brought you a box of cigars. Hey, uh, I want to get you some flowers. Is there anything in regulation that says you can't wear flowers when you're in uniform? I was going to take these home to my wife, but I'll get her a derby hat instead. Good girl. Hey, Jen. Oh, no. Here. No, thank you. That's a zebra. There. That doesn't look like a swan. That looks like a wombat or something. <laughs> look, a swan is like this. Call that a swan? Yeah, that's a swan with a stiff neck. <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold your arm like this. Put this finger. Gee, your hand is cold. Oh, it'll get warm. If you hold it a while. I suppose you'll be leaving soon, Joe. Yeah, I suppose so. Will you write to me? Danny will be writing to you every day. He'll keep you posted about me. How about you keeping me posted about Danny? I don't want to do anything to hurt him, Mary. And you know how he feels about you. It just seems kind of a bad time to knock the pins out from under him, don't you think? I guess you're right. I wish there were some way to... Wrap up a night like this. Take it along. So do I. Well, at least we made beautiful shadows together. Mary. What, Joe? I know how to make a wonderful shadow. Joe, Mary! Watch this shoving, fellas. 
Hey, wait till you see what I found. Virginia's over there now. You can make one for me and Joe can make one for Virginia. Or they can put all four of us on one. <laughs> Gee, I won't mind being separated from you now, Mary. Of course, I'll mind, but it won't be so bad. What well, on earth are you talking about? Well, for Pete's sake, Mary, I just told you we found a place right near here where you can put your own voice on the record. <laughs> well, uh, none of us know where we're headed or, or when. It's kind of a mixed up world. Just get started to really know somebody, and next thing you know, you're telling them goodbye. Well, all I can say is, good luck to us all. Oh, that's right. Mary, you know what I'm saying. Mary, you know what I'm saying. Well, I never liked. I never liked goodbyes, and and this way, I I get kind of a funny feeling. Knowing you'll be playing this when we're thousands of miles apart. Hurry back. I'll be waiting. Oh, Danny, take good care of yourself, as if I have to tell you. Well, I, I guess that's all. Bless you, boy. Oh, gee, Mary, that was wonderful. All right. <laughs> gee, Mary, that was wonderful. I'll be playing that record all the time and hearing your voice, no matter where they send us. It'll be just like you were there. In the mic. <clears throat> What's the matter? Keep on talking. <clears throat> Say that again. Keep on talking. What's that clicking in your throat? Clicking? Yeah. You've got enlarged tonsils. They didn't get them all out when they operated, did they? Nobody operated. Not on me. Look. Aha! Uh -huh. That explains everything. You should be on the table right now. You know, there's lots of people walking around don't know how sick they are. Ought to be in hospital. Here's your fresh shrimp. That shrimp is here. Beat it, you. Ah, oh, button your lip. Think you're a big shot just because you're making a lot of noise around here. Shrimp. Shut up. Get out of here. Oh, shut up. Oh, Virginia, that thing's still going. Get up there. Come on, we'll let you out. Hurry. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, folks. Wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Well, this has turned out to be a fine record. Now, look, you got three minutes left. Will you see if you can do a little better on the rest of it? Well, I don't know anything to say, but I want to give you something to remember me by. Would anybody be surprised if I sang a song at this point? Well, it's about time. I used to be bewildered Outlook on life wasn't clear Then all at once the mist seemed to I'm not conscious of But this feeling I feel Must be love Now I know Why it's so Why I'm alive And I thrive on the Oh, 
Will ya, Blackie? Listen, no, Take Miss. it easy, Blackie. I thought I told you to lay off that Victor Rose. Yeah, well, the next time I catch you fooling around with it, I'm gonna break off both your arms and legs and hit you over the head with him. <coughs> Get your hands off that record, Blackie. Okay. Oh, butterball. Give me that record, will you? Come on. I'm gonna, oh, watch it, fellas, will you? You're gonna break that. Give me... Oh, listen, fellas, you're gonna break that. Get away. I eat records and I'm hungry. Hey, fellas, you ever see me eat a record? Hey, wait a minute, buddy boy. I'll get you some ketchup for it. Yeah, yeah, get some ketchup. Okay, okay we'll, we'll get some ketchup. Okay. Oh, okay. Come on, where is it? Let's get over here. Get Come, on. Over here. Come on. Come on, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, shake, shake it up there. That's it. My medicine. What have you done with my medicine? I put it all in one bottle so as we could conserve space. Hey, spill some on here. Okay. Get it all over here. Hey, come here, you. Give, it, hey, well, give him a shampoo. No, I'll make him drink it. Stuff it down his throat. Good idea. Oh, good. We'll stand around and watch him explode. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, good. hey, cut it out. Who's doing it? Oh. Oh. Hey, you two. You've been picking on Danny long enough. Now, cut it out. I'm going to crack your heads together like a couple of coconuts. Listen, meathead, you're gonna crack whose heads together like what coconuts? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Okay. Hey, Mullins! 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 Hey, Hey, Let's maybe go. he's telling the truth. Hey, Joe. Daddy, you believe me? Oh, oh, oh boy. It looks like the third platoon is going on yeah. right there. Oh, oh, boy. Hey, look at the guns. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Joe, we're really leaving, oh, I guess. Oh, boy. Daddy, look at that. Goes that gold brick yeah. outfit. Oh, oh. Hey, look. Hey, hey, they got a hospital for us just for me. Hey, Chuck. All right, men. Get everything ready. Full packs and helmets. This company moves out in exactly one half hour. Start to it. Oh, come on, Daddy. Get your bill. Hey. How am I going to get ready in a half hour, Joe? You won't if you don't stop wearing it back. Why did they give us such short notice all the time? Oh, Joe, what about men? She'll be awfully worried. I can't go away without saying goodbye to Mary. Maybe I'll never see her again, Joe. Maybe never. That's quite a while. A lot of fellas in the same spot, Danny. Come on, get going. Okay, you take it. Thanks. Goodbye, Veronica. <sighs> Hey, what am I talking about? You're going with us. I'm going too. Get out of here. Seen anything of Danny? Not since we left camp. Hey, you know, I'll, I'll tell you. Your D is not at rest. Cut out the talking. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. That will be all. Danny, you're not 
making sense. What is it that was a matter of life and death? Why did I have to come down here? Mary, don't you understand? We're leaving. There's only a few more minutes left, and the most terrible thing has happened. What? Virginia's going with us on the same boat, and it's right there. Oh, for heaven's sakes, what's so terrible about that? She's a wonderful girl, and she likes you. Yeah, but she's not you. Well, she can go, you can go. Huh? Maybe you could even take her place. I could talk to the colonel and explain and tell him that the only reason... Danny, you're not running me. I mean, you can't just put me on a boat. Yeah. How did you ever know where you were sailing from? Oh. Oh, no, no, don't tell me. You know you could be shot at sunrise. Just because... No, I... don't tell me. Oh, I've got to get out of here. What's the matter? It's your sergeant. No, it's your sergeant. Quick, you better get in there. Oh, no, I can't get in there. It's all right. I left my rifle and pack in there. Hey, Lynn. Have you seen anything of Danny Weems? Yeah, so I'm going to go. Talk to the nurse. I think I know where he went. Come on. You stay in there. I'll see if the coast is clear. Oh, uh, 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 I was just saying goodbye to my truck, sir. What? Uh, yeah, I call it Mary. Mary? Uh, uh, yeah, well, but, but you know the way the flyers named the planes? Well, that you have heard of the Daisy May and the Susie Q? Uh, that, that's the Mary Ann. Uh, uh, goodbye, Mary. Uh, bye. What is, what is Report your coming in one. Yes, sir. Fasten your belt. Yes, sir. Well, that's all. Yes, sir.
Well, should we go and have a word with the captain? All right, sir. Come along, gentlemen. What's all the mystery about? Well, something a little unexpected has happened. It's made me so sick, I haven't had a chance to get seasick. Well, where are we going? Down in the hold. Wait to see what I've got. Well, whatever it is, can it wait? No, it would starve. You mean it's alive? Right. I, I hope so. No, that's not the one. It's Joe! Mary! What are you doing? Shh! With... Oh, what is she doing? Shh. Holy cats! This is all I could get, Mary. Pretzels and, 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 and bananas. I hope you're not thirsty. Well, tell me, what's going on? How did this happen? It's a long story, Joe. I don't even want to hear it myself. Well, the Colonel's going to hear it. What? I'll just have to tell him what happened, Dan. Oh, Mary, I... Uh... I hate to bring this up, it's only a small detail, but if you tell the Colonel the truth, I'll be shot at sunrise. As early as that. Oh, why didn't that draft board listen to me when I told him not to take you? <laughs> Shh. Look out, get back in there, stay where you are. I tell you I heard something. Any livestock in this hold? What? It's a dog. <laughs> Sounds vicious. I hate dogs. If he comes at you, take a shot at him. Got a dog in my throat. Some people have frogs, but I have a dog. Ah, oh. oh. I uh, that is, we were looking for sea deck. Come on, get out. Come on. What gives? Speak up, soldier. Speak up. I uh, uh I bought a little gun. I learned to shoot. I bought a little horn. I learned to two. Now I can shoot at two. Then I cube. Why you? Hey, hey, what? These pills are on me, boys. some way to sneak her out. Joe, she's already snuck. What? I couldn't leave her in the hole. The air is full of dust particles. Where you're going, the windows are full of bars. Yes. Mm. Look, she's got her uniform on underneath my fatigue clothes. If she can get through this crowd up to the officer's deck, then all we have to do is get her to the nurse's deck. Yeah, but... There's 106 of them on board. Nobody will notice if there's 107. Virginia will help us. I'll talk to her. Uh, Captain, would you be sweet enough to get my musette bag? I left it over there somewhere on a chair. Certainly, Lieutenant. Thank you so much. Hello, Danny. Where can we go and be alone? Oh, Danny. I've got to get you alone right away. Well, well. Listen, if we could find a dark place somewhere, just you and I. Oh, this salt has doing you a lot of good. Uh-huh. And if, how about a lifeboat? 
Um, what is this, honey? Commando tactics? No. Virginia, you don't understand. Oh, yes, I do. By popular request, Lieutenant Virginia Merrill will sing Tessa's Torch Song. Oh, I've got to go sing now, but I'll be back now. And don't go away. story about a gal folks called her torchy tents because she trusted her heart got busted love made her life a mess it evidently was an awful blow for this is word for her word Poor Tessa's tale of woe I had a man He was a good man That is, you see, what I mean is I thought he was a good man I had a friend He was a good friend I told my friend about my man Cause I thought she was a good friend Life was sweet Didn't I have my man Well, complete Then the fireworks began Got no man, ain't got no friend. I bet you can guess just exactly what happened. That was the end, the end of my friend, the end of my man, and almost the end of me. She had a man. Yes, I had a man. He was a good man. Ooh, do, 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 do. That is, you see, what I mean is I thought he was a good man. Do, 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 do. She had a friend. I had a friend. I said I had a friend. She was a good friend. I told my friend about my man because I thought she was a good friend. Do, 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 do. Fireworks began Ain't got no man Ain't got no friend I bet you can guess just exactly what happened That was the end The end of my friend The end of my man And darn near the end of me Of me Uh, uh, well, fellas, you all know the colonel. <laughs> uh, uh, you, you all know the colonel offered a prize for the best original song about the life of a soldier. Well, I, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I've, I've been composing one, but I haven't learned all the words that Joe wrote yet. Uh, uh, that is, that I wrote. Uh, we're writing now. Uh, uh, that we... Uh, I, I will now recite Gunga Din by Rudyard Kipling. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, no, I won't. Uh, I, 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 oh, yeah, no. I'll, I'll try the new song. I don't know it very well, but uh, uh, Rudy, if you like and say thanks. Oh, they passed the law down in Washington, D.C. Yes, they did, 
minutes, but the they passed a law down in Washington, D.C. Yankee Doodle's going to town, and they want young fellas like me. In a goldfish bowl, you and shiny, they went eeny, meeny, miny, and cried, hey, young cop, you know what's up? Tuesday afternoon in a wet wash laundry. We might as well wait here for Danny. Ooh, I've got the shivers. Are you cold, honey? Mary? A little. Mostly frightened. We're here. That better? <laughs> Much better, Jim. This is like being in front of a warm fire. It's snowing outside. I kind of like it, too. We must do this more often. Remind me of that, will you? Three times a day, for the next 40 years. 40 years. <laughs> I wonder... What? Well, I was just wondering what these uniforms will look like when we take them out of a trunk someday and shake the mothballs out of them and go marching in a parade on the 4th of July. <laughs> Joe, do you really think it'll be a better world? I'm sure of it. Gosh, it's a better world already. That's him. Hey, hey. Oh, everything is arranged. Come on, we go. 
Hey, I better take her, Danny. No, no, Joe, I can get away with it much better than you can. I've been up to the dispensary so many times, they think I live there. Come on. Well, good luck, and be careful. I'll wait here for you, Danny. Hey, wait a minute. Do you know your way? Do I know my way? <laughs> you go up the third companionway on the starboard side, then cross to the port side through the second corridor on the left, then turn right on B deck, up the third ladder at the C deck, nip through the paint locker to the second corridor, two turns right, one turn left, then you double back. <laughs> it's a cinch. <laughs> No. They must have turned the boat around. Oh, That's you, Mika? It's a wee bit of a mistake, Carlos. I was looking for a me bagpipe, and I mistook a wee bit of your quarters for a wee bit of my quarters, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, the is you're under arrest. Aye, sir. Uh, uh, I was looking for a me bagpipe, sir. I bet I read about that sort of better girl about. You're drunk. Report to the ship's brig. Aye, sir. Private McTavish places himself under arrest, sir. Hoop monster. Ah! It's a wee bit of a moose, sir. What? Uh, it is a bunny nest and a bunny nest of yachts, sir. I don't make a girl to make me back pipes. And you hear me, man. You hear me, man. You hear me. You're a fool. Come from the guard. Come back here. Come back here. What are you doing? Come from the guard. Arrest that man! Close them! What is the woman? What are you standing there for? Go! Go! Get out of here! Hey, you. 
You! Yeah? Yeah? Who are you talking to? Oh, to me. I always talk to myself in my sleep. Yeah? You always sleep with your head hanging on to the floor? Oh, sure. Keeps the blood from rushing to my feet. Mm, well, you wake me up again and your blood will be rushing all over the boat. <laughs> Where you been, Veronica? Come out into the garden with me. Ah, I wouldn't have you wear it any other way. Say something, sweetie. Say something. I have to go now. I have to go to the hairdresser. Oh, I know, you know, Veronica. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, you, hey, what'd you do with Veronica? I, I don't know, she had to go. She had to go to the hairdresser. You dirty double crosser, what are you doing here? No, I, I was walking in my sleep. When I, when I walk in my sleep, I gotta talk in my sleep. But I can't talk unless I walk. <laughs> Isn't this a beautiful night? Ah, uh, well, I Everybody up! Oh, hey, Rubbly boys! Everybody! Oh, Everybody get that way! Oh, Come on inside! Last one up's a rotten dig! Beautiful morning! Wait a minute, it's dark outside! That's fog! Dark fog. Rubbly, it feels like I just went to bed. Oh, it only seems like you just went to bed. Come on, everybody up. Time flies when you're busy. Hey, you just woke me up a minute ago. Oh, you're sleepwalking, Blackie. Wake up, wake up. Come on, wake up. Oh, everybody everybody out. out. That's the spirit. Come hey, on. Hey, what's going on with you? Come on, come on. Hey, 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 Blackie, over there is a draft here. Cut it out. It's cold over there. Cut it out. I'll push it where I put him. I can't find him anywhere. Oh, here, look out. Look out. Hey, oh, look out. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. What's the matter with you? There's a spider in your head. Yeah, where? Oh, what's the matter with you? There was a big spider. You've been taking too many pills, Jack. Spider in the Ah, shut up. I wonder where I put my drawers. You don't say that. That's a naughty word. What? Drawers? No, 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 ah, no. cut it out. You know, I'll be glad when I can sleep like I used to. Band naked. Dad, don't say the word naked. Huh? We don't want words like that in our quarters. Don't forget, fellas, this is our home. Oh. 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 Horace, would you mind passing me my unmentionables? Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Just a second, Placey, till I put on my wimple. Oh, 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 oh. Ferdinand, what a beautiful snooze oh. you have. Woo, woo, woo. Rudy Toot, Rudy Toot. We are the boys the Institute. We are the boys the Institute. We are the boys What's going on here? We are the boys the Institute. He's up already and all dressed. Come on, but a ball gets that. That's setting a very good example, Joe. Well, what's everybody doing up so early? It's only four. Yeah. Hey, what's that? Only four? The only four of the duration. And then we'll take a vacation and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and then we'll take a vacation. Hey, Danny, what's all... Mary's under the low, low, low. We gotta get the fellas out of the bed. The fellas up on the deck. The Oh, 
Where is she? Where's who? Oh, where's the salt at the spray log of Lord Harry? Uh, on the deck in the salt spray. Oh. 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 All right, Mary. Joe, darling. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, you don't know what we've been through. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Oh, don't worry, darling. I'll take care of everything. Oh, just let me stay here, Mary. I'm sorry, Danny. We didn't plan it this way. It just happened. Oh, Danny, we it's didn't right. mean to. Better get out of here, Joe. Yeah. Sound off when I call your names. Joe! No. No. Taller man. Vogler! Here! No. Thinner. Here he comes, Joe. Yeah, here he comes. You better stop shaking. If he recognizes you, he'll have you shot. Oh, Black! Yeah. Well, I was only good for a few months anyway. Zilch! Yeah. But I didn't want to die from the Colonel, Joe. I wanted to die in a hospital. Thin! Uh, with some flowers and nurses and maybe a little fruit. Rose! Here! Weems! What's your name? Patrick O'Houlihan, sir. O'Houlihan, eh? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, on the top of the mountain to you for the fine bath of a Colonel Yard. May you get to kiss the blarney stone and spend the evening of your life in the shadow of the statue of St. Patrick and the groves of the flats that plants it for old hands of the flats that plants it big dollar. What? Goodbye, Joe. Come on, Weems. The Colonel wants to see you. All right, I'm coming. Well, bring him here. Bring him here. I surrender, sir. Oh, Hulahan, eh? Yes, Aren't you also Private Weems? Aren't you? Yes, sir. I want to tell you everything, Colonel. I'm also Private McTavish. See? What? Oh, I just had to do it, Colonel. I had to. I was protecting a certain lady. And I know as one gentleman to another, you won't ask me who she is. Oh, I won't, eh? Well, here are your glasses, sir. I just used them for a little while, but I took very good care of them. Oh, that's and now... very kind of you. Thank you. <gasps> oh! Oh! <sighs> What's that clicking in your throat? What did you say? Nothing, sir. Nothing. Thanks for the glasses, sir. Well, who was the girl? I don't know. Who did she say? She doesn't know. Don't well, keep me in Martin. suspense. Mm -hmm. What did he do with her? Well, he tried to hide her, and they landed right in the Colonel's state room. No. Said he thought it was the boiler room. What, what happened there? Well, then, he sneaked her into his own bunk room. <whistles> that sounds interesting. Hmm. Oh, yes. Well, they questioned him for hours, but he refused to give the girl's name. Said it was the unwritten law. <laughs> Listen, you officers, I heard that there was going to be an investigation. They're going to check upon all of us. Well, anyway, I'm in the Claire. Are you sure? Yes. I couldn't squeeze under a soldier's bunk. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> Never had anything like this in the last war. Sergeant, we don't have anything like it in this war either. Gosh, how could a guy who looks like a canary turn out to be a wolf? Oh, <laughs> this fellow Weems will probably go down in the history books. What are you dishing? Say, by the way, where were you last night when you said you were out getting some fresh air? I was out getting some fresh air. Disappointed? Hey. Maybe it was the girl's idea. 
Maybe she was chasing after him. Why, Joanna? That'd change things considerably, wouldn't it? Never heard of a girl being arrested for overpowering a man. Not where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Uh, uh, hello. 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 Shh. Hello. Hello. Virginia, do you think anybody noticed me? No, no. Did you hear what that girl said? Uh-huh. Mary, suppose you went to Colonel Ashley and told him that you were the aggressor. What? That you sneaked in Danny's bunk room because, because, well, you couldn't keep away from him. <laughs> well, then take the blame off Danny and get him out of the brig. It's what you want, isn't it? Uh-huh, but, uh-uh. They find out I'm a stowaway, and Danny's responsible for that. They'd probably shoot the both of us. No, I, I guess you couldn't do it. Hey! Try to remember, how did you get there? I don't remember how I got to his room. Or when. All I remember is the moonlight. And the music, coming from nowhere. Coming from where? From nowhere, sir. Uh, make a note of that. Yes, sir. I must say I can't understand this man's hypnotic power. He doesn't seem to be the type at all. Well, if he'd ever held you close in his arms, you'd understand, Colonel Ashley. Uh, so dare I say. Lieutenant Merrill, you astound me. You've got a fine record. You don't appear to be the type of girl who... Uh... Oh, you don't know me at all, Colonel Ashley. And I don't know you. Not really, I don't. But I bet you weren't always so stern and unapproachable. Yes, well, uh, my character is not under discussion. No, sir, but you were young once. Maybe you can still understand what it's like to lie here, night after night, restless, lonely, longing to throw your arms about someone, to feel the touch of his lips on yours. <coughs> no. No, I reckon you don't know what that means, Colonel Ashley. Well, I should think not. Oh, I tried to fight it off, but it was stronger than I was. And then suddenly it happened. What happened? There was a... Purple flash. Purple flash? And the next thing I knew, I was... I'm sorry. I was breaking down his door. And there he was. Where? Lying there. Asleep. Helpless. I came closer. And closer. And... Uh, that's close enough. Lieutenant Merrill, you're confined to your quarters for further notice. Yes, sir. Well, that'll be all. Yes, sir. Well, this all is a case against Weems. How is that, sir? Well, you can't very well punish the catnip for the behavior of the cat. Release Private Weems from the brig. All right, sir. Well, you really don't believe that story, do you? Certainly not. But I'd like to read the last chapter. Give them a little rope. See that they're both closely watched. They'll hang themselves. All right, sir. Purple Flash. Well, there he is, the Purple Flash. Oh, cut it out, will you, fellas? I ain't in the mood. He ain't in the mood. He ain't romantical. Imagine! They say a dame broke down his door to get to him. I heard it was two dames with hatchets. One of them got away. I uh, thought his pal Joe was the great lover. Yeah. I guess he is. Say, Flash, what's in them pills you've been eating? Hey, lover, roll them big blue eyes for us, will you? Yeah, come on, now twinkle. Come on. Twinkle, oh, twinkle, oh, twinkle. Oh, twinkle. Oh, oh, just stop it, fellas. Hey, Blackie, I want to ask you a favor. Yeah? Would you do me a favor? No. I just want to use your phonograph for a little while. Huh. You got some nerve after what you done. What had I done? Huh. Last one up to rotten, rotten egg. egg. Black fog. Yeah, you still owe me three hours sleep. I catch you taking anything else, I'm gonna reach down your throat, grab you by the feet, and turn you inside out. Maybe you'd look better that way. know where we're headed or, or when. It's a mixed up world. <laughs> this way I get kind of a funny feeling knowing that you'll be playing this when we're thousands of miles apart. Hey, Blackie, are my eyes pink? Nah, only the white part's pink. 
That guy never says I got pink eye. And I breathe in and I don't breathe out. I breathe out. He says I got arteriosclerosis. Yeah? What's that? Means I got too much liver. Uh. I'm a walking butcher shop. <laughs> Take good care of yourself. Honey, I, I like that you. guy. He's in trouble with one dame, and he's already got another one in there. Yeah? Well, I, I guess that's all. Take good care of yourself. Hurry back. Oh, gee, Mary, that was wonderful. Oh. <laughs> gee, Mary, that was wonderful. Playing that room all the time and hearing your voice, no matter where they send us. All right, all right. What, hey, what's giving out here? Uh, What's that clicking in your throat? Huh? No, there's lots of people walking around. Don't know how sick they are. Ought to be in hospital. How's that? Here's your fresh shrimp. That shrimp is here. Oh, I'm a shrimp, am I? Ah, oh, button your lip. Think you're a bait shot just because you're making a lot of noise around here. Shrimp, shrimp, they're hot, they're tasty, they're fresh. <laughs> Guys, go nuts. Get out of here! Look out! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> You're tickling me! Tickling you? I ain't even touched you! Oh, would anybody be surprised if I sang a song? Well, it's about time. <laughs> now I know why I go walking round in a wonderful glow. There's a lot that I'm not conscious of But this feeling I feel must be love Now I, 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 now I Now we both know. your 
loves her real well It's just like torture began. You lost your gal. Oh, Bernie Jackson, blow those blues for me. You lost your friend. Oh, Bernie, murder, murder in the first degree. I got a feeling that something will happen. This won't be the end. No, no, I'll find a new friend. Yes, yes, I'll find a new gal. Oh, oh, this won't be the end of me. Well, zoot, well, boot, well, well, on route with a hip, a hip, a hip, and a step, step, step. I'm scared. Looking sharp. Sharp as a hop. Feeling keen. Oh, keen as a bee. No tears for Mary. Oh, dry as the prairie. No wolf for Joe. Oh, no, no, no. No beat in the grave. No, no, nay, nay, nay. No busted ticker. Tinker, tick and slicker. Well, toast me, Melbourne. Is that the fact? Beat me, Daddy, and I'll hit you back. Well, well, boot, well, well, all through. Well, have a, have a, have a, have a, step, step, step. Hey, good looking. Oh, what is the cooking? Feeling groovy. Groovy as a moving. Soft and mellow. Mellow as Want to be my chicken? Nah, I use a clicking. No kyak yak. Solid jack. Well, ration me some passion, pitch me some woo. On the button, glutton. Smack a woo. Well, grill me lamb chop. Well, all right. Well, me, mama, cause it's Saturday night. Well, zoop, well, boop, well, well, all root. With a hep, 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 and step, step, step. Hee doo 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 Hum, 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 hum. Mary. Mary. My name's 
Bertha Suella. No, Mary. Mary. Uh, Private Wayne's here. Let me in here. Who's Mary? Mary Morgan, the girl I smuggled on the boat. Uh -huh. huh? Make a note of that, Mika. Yes, sir. Better look into this, Captain. Yes, sir. Did you say Mary Morgan? Yes, Mary. What are you doing in my dreams? You're not a beautiful girl. What? Well, I, uh, I should think not. His pulse is normal, sir. Well, get the rest of him normal and lock him up. You hear me? Lock him up. Yes, sir. Well, it was a nice dream while it lasted. And so, after spending many long hours in the brig, our hero reaches Baguna, the Isle of Dreams. The garden spot of the Pacific, a lush tropical paradise. To spend many more hours in the break. Oh, please come here, Blackie! Blackie! Butterball! A million islands in the Pacific, and we gotta land on one with no canteen, no hula girls, and no Japs. You gotta get it to me, fellas. It's been weeks now. I'm going crazy! I warn you. I warn you! If I don't get my vitamins, it'll overexcite my thyroid, and anything can happen! Maybe we ought to get reinforcements. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, really, fellas. I've lived with Danny Weems for 12 years, sir. I admit he's got kind of a genius for stirring up trouble, but he always means well. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Private Weems is not charged with hurting flies. However, when I look over the list of his offenses, it appears to me that's the only crime he hasn't committed. But, Colonel Ashley, I'm just as much to blame, and I'm perfectly willing She had to... nothing to do with it, sir. It was all an accident, and then on the ship she wanted to tell you the truth, and I wouldn't let her. That will be all. This investigation has produced no evidence at all as the case, has it? No, sir. Then Private Weems will face a court-martial as I've directed. And until that can be arranged... Oh, Lashley! Private Weems has... Uh... If you please. Until Sorry, that sir. can be arranged, and he will remain under arrest. Now, what is it you want? Private Weems has escaped, sir. What? Weren't there any guards there? Yes, sir, and they're still there, sir. <laughs> You mean to tell me that Weems did this all by himself? Yes, sir, but I can't figure it out, sir. He was a man with no muscles at all. Yeah, yeah. Well, look at that place. Well, there's one thing. He got his health back anyhow. Well, what happened? Well, I don't know, sir. It all happened so quick. Isn't it, Blackie? Yeah. He must have had a compulsive, sir. They came from behind and overpowered us. Captain, send out a searching party. Yes, sir. Why did you fellas ever pick on me anyway? If you think the Americans are going to think I escaped, you're crazy. They'll know you did it, and they'll know there's Japs on this island. And you'll see what'll happen then. Oi, Denisai! Oi, Denisai! Oi, Denisai! How do you like that? They can't speak English, but I can speak Japanese. Number and disposition of anti-aircraft. No. Well, how many men? Men? Men. Oh, let me see now. There's, um, there's a fellow called George Mottletrow. He, he's a little fellow from Detroit. Has a rubber fellow. Uh, 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 what? Uh, and we, then there's uh, Robert Clocklepoop. He has a <coughs> hay fever all the time. Never mind about the men. What about tanks? The tanks? Tanks? Oh, tanks. Uh, tanks. Well, there's a... Uh, oh, we have a great big tank. We keep hot water in it all the time. Enough of this foolishness! Oh, well, I'm trying to think, but that thing hurt my head all the time, and I... I... Well, maybe if you let me take one of my pills, I could think more clearly. It would clear my head, and I'd tell you everything. You think this is a headache pill, don't you? Well, you're wrong, Mr. Tojo. We carry a thing like this just for such an emergency. It's cyanide of potassium. No, it's too late. I've already drunk it. One drop. One drop will kill a hundred men. In one second, I'll be dead. And dead men tell no tales. <coughs> you see? It started already. <coughs> You almost up. I will put your head. How many times? How many times? That's all I know. 
I told you everything. of trouble with the colonel. Oh, here's the colonel now. But please, Colonel Ashley, if you'll only let me explain. Lieutenant Morgan, you're in trouble enough yourself without trying to intercede for Private Weems. But, Colonel... Oh, I know, I know, he's a hero, but he's violated every conceivable military regulation. If I can only find some extenuating circumstance, such as a, a, a mental lapse... Oh, he has those all the time, sir. Well, he's been with Major Brock all afternoon. A complete psychiatric examination. And Major Brock's as fine a doctor as you find. Oh, here's the Major now. Well, Major, what's the verdict? Him? Oh, I'd rather not discuss that. I've, I've got to get to bed. Bed? Bed? What's this? Hmm? Yeah. Oh. You're all right. It's me. Look. Look at my eyes. I blink four times for a second. I'm, I'm breathing through my liver. I'm buckling at the knees. I got a, I got a click in my throat. 
Look at my tongue. I have ichthyosis colitis. That can only happen to a fish. Well, hello. Yeah. Oh, nurses. <laughs> Get a hold of me. Mm. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know whether I'm supposed to take three pills at 10 o'clock or 10 pills at 3 o'clock. What? I, hmm? Well, never mind. I'll, I'll take them all now. Oh. Oh. Next patient, please. <laughs> Oh, well, say ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ooh. 